<laughs> I can tell you the difference there. <laughs> All right, so I'm reading from it right now. The teleprompter. You know, problems with that, that scrolling screen can trip up even a veteran anchor or a politician. Here, oh, that's kind of cool. Here's CNN's Jeannie Moss. Even when your claim to fame is... Some straight talk. Talking straight isn't always easy. Not when there's a teleprompter involved. Already, tight household budgets are getting tighter with a real borrower. Leaders, lenders. Lenders who initiate loans. When he won in New Hampshire, Senator McCain's speech was panned because he was reading it from papers, looking down. To keep this beautiful... Bountiful, blessed country safe. Safe from mangled sentences when one of your opponents is the silver-tongued Obama. Fierce urgency of now. It's urgent that John McCain master the art of the teleprompter. And 51 million homeowners. His campaign has been trying different formats, using prompters that reflect the script up onto glass panels to the sides of the podium, or using a flat screen directly in front of McCain. Find themselves unable. Unable to pull it off without blatantly appearing to be reading. So stand up with me, my friends. You can almost read it in his eyes. When you read teleprompter, your life is basically in the hands of the person who's scrolling the copy along. I can look very natural, like I'm talking off the top of my head, and then the prompter person does this, and I'm dead. In Dallas, Senator McCain was soldiering through his teleprompter script. Then an in uncivil brawl. When suddenly his prompter failed, as he paged through his backup script, the crowd helpfully chanted. <laughs> chanted till the teleprompter came back up. Bill Clinton once looked up to see the wrong speech in his prompter as he was about to deliver the State of the Union. I'm not at all sure what speech is in the teleprompter tonight. One of the worst things that can happen to you when you're reading teleprompter is for the person running the prompter to go too slow so you have no choice but to speak like this. I've even had someone run my teleprompter backwards while I was on the air live. So the next time you notice John McCain struggling... In this crisis, as in all I may face in the future... At I least he hasn't pulled a Ron Burgundy movie anchor man. I'm Ron Burgundy? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. McCain reads what they didn't type. Thank you very much. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. <laughs> Just like you said, welcome to our world. Our world! <laughs> wow. Just on the prompter today. Yeah. Make sure this thing rolls on time. All right, here goes. <laughs> a 